my name is Osra and welcome to a review for you that is right I am doing a review and uh, you know one of the things that I, I like to watch by myself is, uh, is some of the animation uh, you know movies you know I've, I've watched uh, I've watched Inside Out I, I've talked about Inside Out I don't remember much the review I'm so sorry I might do a re-review re of that uh, not sure um, but yeah, so I decided to watch um, Cars 3 today instead of Transformers 5. No thank you to you, Michael Bay. Because I remember the, the the last movie and I was like, fuck me, this is long. <laughs> anyway, back to this Cars 3. Okay, so I liked it. It was, it was okay. I definitely don't know why people were like, the second movie was the worst. I'm just like... It's a fucking popcorn movie. It's a it's a filler movie. It didn't need to be out. Yes, I agree with you, but they made it and it wasn't that bad, you know, if you didn't really think about it, if you just like sat there with the kids and the kids were like, yeah, because I I went with I think my younger cousin. I don't know. Like like relative actually uh, so I went with my younger relative because my aunt or like whatever was like yeah we should go for a movie and I was like yeah sure and uh, we went for Cars 2 I remember and I was like I wasn't in like I wasn't in it but I was like more of like just derping there like sitting and not really watching and just sitting back and I remember just flashes of, of the, the storyline and everything but I didn't really find it bad um, I might have to rewatch it and maybe I'm gonna be like oh yeah it, it is bad and take back my words but so far I, d I don't really find any any problems with that they just wanted to push Mater and maybe they could have done it in a better way they could have done it in a direct to DVD way and uh, you know the focus should be on the racing because you know it's a racing car movie you know what I'm saying and the second movie did have racing okay it, it, was in, it wasn't in the foreground is all I'm saying okay anyway uh, yeah so this movie actually really got me to think about all the all the issues at hand like in the world today as well uh, or more more likely the inner internet world today as well because like I, I'm seeing a lot of critics like say this movie is like isn't what it is like the the trailers were really false advertising and all that but I think it was quite smart because I really thought it was gonna this was gonna be like the Rocky movie like you know where Rocky gets defeated you know he he's down for the count but you know he goes to train and uh, the trainer is like you can do it harder harder and Rocky's like yeah yeah and then finally at the end he's victorious like yeah but in this movie it isn't exactly like that but we also do have the 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 generic cliches I have to say and you know I'm not a big fan of cliches but if they if they're done well they can be tolerable but I have to say that this one wasn't really done well but I, I still gave it a pass because I'm like yeah it's for kids so I don't I don't really I don't really I don't really find a problem with just, just letting kids watch that um, and the biggest cliche in this one is the whole third act and you know they got a fight and they're like, yeah, we built to fuck you too. You know, well, they don't say fuck you too because it's PG, um, <laughs> which I found funny because there was legitimately a part where in this movie they're in like this dirt racing area, and there's this car who goes like, hey, watch your f honk uh, mouth, you know, or something like that. I forgot the full line, but it was something like that. And I had to laugh, and I'm like. That was a good way of censoring, I have to say. <laughs> I have to give props for that. I was like, wow, okay. 
<laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, this is this is very much an athlete story actually, because yeah, I've watched a lot of athletes, you know, old athletes especially, and I was an athlete myself, and you know, I'm not really you know into that. I I dropped out, you know, I'm more of the the chess player, the checkers player. I'm more of the athlete kind of, you know, I don't really to competition maths but I'm 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 good at maths you know but not the best at maths because I am doing a maths degree and I'm dying. Uh anyway <laughs> anyway, uh so yeah this movie was about like Lightning McQueen and you know he's he's not able to give up that that dream of like getting more accolade and you know more at least one last round before I go, you know what I'm saying, like that kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, and, and uh, some some of the critics you know, actually brought up that you know, Lightning might have stayed as a as a as a brand, uh, but you know, I don't really say that is the best route. You know, that is the route that where you go, like, yeah, okay, I need more money. So I'm gonna just sell my name and sell my my rights, so that people can use my image. And, you know that the advertising use my image for this stuff, and you go yeah I get the money and this and that. So yes, there is a point where you definitely need to do that, but I definitely think that to me you know McQueen was still pretty much in his prime you know he's still he's still good he's still running he still has the passion you know he, he still has the the want to to win against somebody and I think for me that is really interesting and I think for for McQueen to recognize that you know he may his time is over was really good for me because I'm just like I haven't seen that before. I haven't seen uh, I haven't seen an athlete go, yep. My time is done. I'm out. You know, and like go train somebody else. Maybe I haven't watched too much sports. You know, because I'm more of a, a a soccer fan, a football fan. I am yes, I am using British English because you know our country was colonized by the British so we have to use it British English anyway uh, yeah so um, I have watched athletes like cling on like desperately cling on to the game and then just like bro let go just go come on you're you're really embarrassing yourself you know it's it's hard to watch your your let's say you you have a legend you know uh, let's say um, Eric Cantona like play and play and play and then you know he's like old like like 30 40 something and you're just like ah oh, man just go you know what I'm saying like just just retire go home to your family you know rest you know it's your time is up your time is done um over blah <laughs> yeah. anyway um so yeah I definitely think that uh him recognizing his, his weakness is like yeah I, I, I know man I know I, ca I can't catch up with the, the new car the newer cars you know I, my engine is getting old my engine is not that powerful and especially for cars I definitely think there is very much a limitation to them because every new car you have a new mileage system and that's really crazy because you know you wanna if you're doing racing especially and you're that old timer that goes with the with the whole the whole old set and uh, you're just gonna be pummeled you know what i'm saying like you're just gonna be pummeled straight away uh and i thought that he, he put up a good fight mcqueen put up a good fight and Man, it is hard not to hear uh, Owen Wilson from uh, McQueen because, like, he definitely has the that the the tone and everything, and I'm just like, oh god, I I can't, because sometimes it gets a bit grating, but some other times it's okay. It's like really weird. Um, okay, so Cruz Ramirez is the the new car in this one, and as well as uh, Jackson Storm, but Jackson Storm is more of the rival. Uh, Cruz Ramirez is more of the protege, but she started off as a trainer actually, which is really weird because I'm like, how? Wait, 
have you any experience and you know this world is all about the simulation and everything and I'm like simulation is good but even now and then you know you gotta go to the track and train and you know we saw Jackson do that you know he did some simulations but he also did on the road like he went and you know to double confirm that that is the speed that is going to and that is the proper way actually to, to train you know the uh, even athletes even you know or you know runners you know you can do the whole treadmill thing but you have to go on the track and run actually on the on the dirt feel the dirt in your shoes uh so yeah i really thought it was interesting for me uh and then the the twist you know i kind of guessed it a little bit too late but you know i guessed it i'm just like uh, yeah i, I kind of see it uh which is uh cruise rumors taking uh mcqueen's place and i thought that was really emotional i was like oh yeah. Good job, McQueen. I, I think you did good. You know, you you tried your best. You put up with as much as you could, and uh, you know, you 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 had a good fight. You know, what I'm saying like you had a good fight. So definitely get put pushing the reins to to Cruz Ramirez was quite like frightening for me to say could discuss because you know as as a person who has like been pushed out on the stage before I'm just like wow okay so that that really captured my emotions I was like oh, oh, oh god you know why <laughs> what's happening right now and you're just like when you're just, just there you just gotta either make something up or you just go with the flow you know what I'm saying so let's say you're just like being pushed to an MC position you're just like happy be birthday good job <laughs> you know what I'm saying like just go with the flow just do what you gotta do and just bounce you know what I'm saying but she did really a good job and uh, you know she she raced well and I thought she she really felt the game I think like for me really I think I I, I kind of give passes to this these athletic movies and also artistic movies because I understand the pain and the, and the suffering they have to go through when you know some YouTube critics have brought up the whole YouTube game now the new YouTube game and I'm just like yeah well you know change is all about newer things coming into play whether it be games whether it be these kind of things entertainment you know um, reviews reactions whatever uh, variety TV shows, uh, blogs, you know, the internet is always evolving and, and I like that they put th that into this movie as well, you know, technology changes everything, especially for cars, it's more evident in cars actually, and uh, you know, with uh, the computers as well, you know, with laptops and everything, so that's just really good and you know, me being an adult now, is like, yeah, I have to side with with the old generation kind of or the leaving the whole young generation thing. It's just like, yeah, this is a young man's game, and I don't know if I can if I can keep up with that energy of the younger people, and maybe you know if there's if they're even seeing my videos or they're seeing someone else's who's who's better than me, obviously. And saying, yeah, I could do that, and I could do better, and you know, I'd change up things, and this and that, and uh, yeah. So I really thought that was that was an interesting commentary, at least. And uh, you know, the whole brand thing, especially for me, you know, you guys know, like I didn't start off with this whole brand design thing, but I was like yeah i have to be different i have to i have to adapt in, in this world today you know the world is ever changing so i have to do these kind of things i have to overlay some stuff and uh i changed up my style and i i really like that you guys enjoyed it because i i'm i'm enjoying doing this and i hope to do this full time and i definitely think that that was the message of cars 3 you know do what you love and keep doing it even though you're old and uh, you can't keep up with the young ones anymore 
uh, always try your best uh, and obviously you could train someone you know you could help younger smaller youtubers on your just like yeah this is how you should do change up your camera you know change up your mic and yes I will change my camera please hold on please bear with me I'm saving up the money uh, so yeah this this movie really caught me off guard and I'm just like huh that was really interesting so yeah just before I leave here um, I forgot to give my rating and I think this movie for me you know I think it's definitely a 6.5 for me I don't I don't really know if I can put it that low maybe I'll have to change my Wonder Woman rating just to just to calm you guys down because this this type of movie like it really delves into the commentary and you know McQueen is like I feel like I'm McQueen as well like you know you, you get to relate the most and uh, you know there's something to be said about a critics like a critics point of view which is that you know some critics may say that Wonder Woman was better without the personal touch but I really felt that it needed that personal touch so that she could become much stronger and much more of a you know even though she's technically just an altruistic hero she can have some of the advice some of the personal touches I thought the the auntie would be that but it wasn't it was brushed off um, but that's just my opinion you know I'm saying like and this movie is not better than Wonder Woman but it has more of a story in it than I was expecting it so I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a, a 7 I'm gonna I'm gonna put it uh, as the same rank as Wonder Woman I I definitely think it deserves it so yeah I, I I'm I'm a simple I'm a simple guy I go in for for the story for the characters and for the plot if the plot doesn't work I'll go for characters if the characters don't work I'll go for story if the story doesn't work I'll go for the visuals I will give points where I can give points you know I'm saying like I don't just trash movies cuz I don't really feel I can do that because I am will always and will always relate to people trying to do what they want to do so yeah guys that was about it so I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in the next episode see you then.